Welcome back to Gone Wandering. Let's get right into it here with a tour of the Wormslow Plantation. This was uh, started in 1739. It's currently 822 acres, but it was something like over 1,400 acres originally. And the most impressive thing, though, is this mile and a half oak driveway with 400 oak trees. Pretty crazy. Being only 11 miles from Savannah, the, the estate was part of a network of defense systems to, uh, to watch for Spanish invasions. As you can see, there's uh, virtually nothing left of the estate. They actually uh, took the walls and cut them up into pieces and used them for other buildings. I don't remember what year that was done, but as a result, there's nothing left of the original estate. Descendants of the family still live on the original property. Let's go down this boardwalk and go uh, go down to the beach. Sound like a plan? Uh, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> What's wrong with this fisher? So arriving in uh, St. Simon, we noticed something out in the water and we couldn't figure out what it was for a real long time. Um, as it turns out, in the early morning of uh, September 8th, this cargo ship capsized. And there's lots of controversy as to how it capsized, if it, uh, if it, if it got out of the channel that it was supposed to be in, or if it was bad navigation or a swell, maybe the ship was loaded and stable. So there's lots of controversy as to how it happened, but the ship is sitting on its side now. And uh, inside the ship, there's 4,200 Kias and Hyundais. So uh, if you want a slightly waterlogged car, that'd be the place to get it. 23 were on the ship and they all got off safely. And they've been trying to figure out how to cut it up into pieces to, uh, to remove it, because it, it can't be righted again at this point. Now this is a pretty cool campground. We are in Savannah, Georgia, and it is beautiful. At the Red Gate RV Park. Welcome to Savannah. We took a tour with this bus ride here. It was an hour and a half. Wonderful tour. You can get on and off all day long. Just get on, get off wherever you want. Well, there's 15 stops that it makes. But what's interesting about this city is everywhere you go, there's these little groups giving tours. This town just has so much history. This is a 130-acre uh, park in the middle of town. Forst, I think is how you might pronounce the name. Beautiful park. So we've been taking pictures of beautiful oak trees. At home, having like 17 of them, you know, we 
we don't really think they're all that beautiful necessarily because we gotta continuously pick up their leaves. But this tree here is dated over 300 years old, which means it was a seedling in the 1700s. That's amazing. So here we are on Jones Street. So if you want to keep up with the neighbors, this is the place you got to live. So we've taken a couple of tours of uh, cemeteries of all things. And we're in one in uh, downtown Savannah here. And uh, lots of history in this town. Civil War stuff, of course. But I want to talk about this Spanish moss that's all over the trees. We were, uh, we were recently told that if you take the Spanish moss out of the trees. Or you pick it up off the ground. Or pick it up off the ground, you'll end up with mites, chiggers, ticks, ticks quite a few different things. So we've, uh, we've been steering clear of the Spanish moss. Even though I love it. You can buy it at Michael's, that's what they tell us. Our guide told us buy it at Michael's, it's been cleaned and purified. <laughs> but don't take it off the trees. <laughs> so the other fact that we learned about Spanish moss is back in the Civil War days, they would use it to uh, fill mattresses, they'd make rope out of it, uh, blankets and bedding. Stuffed animals, you name it, they used it. But what they did was they had a way of uh, baking it in an oven to kill all the bugs in it, uh, because otherwise, you know, that'd be a problem. <laughs> There's kind of a side story that said the first Ford recall was because they used Spanish moss and they didn't kill the bugs. So, you know, the seats were, bugs were coming out of the seats and biting people. <laughs> so this church behind me, tell me if you recognize it. The steeple tower. That's one of the opening scenes of Forrest Gump. Pretty cool. Lots and lots of movies have been filmed around here. His uh, park bench is just right around the corner in a park. In the middle of town, there's, uh, I think, 14 of these little miniature parks. Here we are down on the wharf. So this is the waving girl of Savannah and her dog. Uh, her love interest uh, went down on a ship and uh, apparently she said that she would wave this flag every time a ship came back to, uh, to welcome him home. And she had taught her dog to uh, bark whenever the, uh, if it was like the middle of the night or something like that, the dog would bark whenever a ship came in. Anyways, 44 years later, she ended up passing away he never came home, so they say that she, uh, she died of a broken heart and a sore arm from waving the flag all the time. I didn't make up the story, okay? I just have to repeat it. Okay. <laughs> okay, guess where we are. It doesn't look like much of a building. Can you guess? Where is it we are? In Savannah, Georgia. The, rest, oh, the restaurant? The Lady and the Sun. Let's go, which is what? Holidays. Boy, it's like Owen T. <laughs> Let's go check it out. This downtown section sure has gotten busy. Crazy. Thank you. 
some time on Hilton Head. Here we are at the Harbor Town Pier. So here we are exploring Charleston, South Carolina. The Pastel Houses is called Rainbow Row, and it is one of the most photographed tourist attractions in Charleston. We also took a tour of the Capitol in Columbia. We thought this sign was funny because it's not for the tourists, it's actually in a roped off section for the politicians where they can kind of just get away from things and rest, but apparently they have to be reminded not to smell the furniture. So that's the end of this video and we really appreciate everybody watching and until next time.